Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video, we're going to cover how to nest columns. So what is nesting columns? It basically allows you to put columns and rows within each other. You might be thinking, why do you want to do that? Well, you may have noticed that I said a few videos ago that you can only have a maximum of 12 columns. That's the way Bootstrap is designed and they have to be whole numbers. So you can't have 6.5 or you can't have, let's say, 7.5, something like that. But I did briefly say that technically there's a way to get around that, and nesting columns is that way. You don't just use nesting columns to get around that, but it's also a great way of grouping content even more. So you could group the overall set of content, and maybe in that group there's several more pieces of content that you want to group so for example we've got this element at the top right here and for the extra large screen so i'm going to set it to six refresh my browser and there you go it's six columns wide so if i just go to my text data and now inside here i'm just gonna actually delete the text and put another row so this is how you nest column you have to put another row inside it class row now inside here you put another div and this has a class and for this you simply put col dash the screen size and then the amount of columns that you want to span and here's the key part if i were to put dash xl dash 12 this spans 12 columns, but it's spanning 12 columns in terms of its parent element, and its parent element spans six columns. So if I were to put six columns, it's technically spanning a quarter of the entire row because this element is spanning half of the line, and this is spanning half of that element aka this one here so in here i'm going to put div one and i'm going to assign a color actually i'm going to create a new color for it should i now nah, won't bother i'll use an existing color i will use blue uh, actually i'm also going to delete these just to make it a little easier I'm going to copy and paste this. I'm going to change this to a 2. Change this to green. Save it. Go to my browser. Refresh. And as you can see, we've got a blue and a green element. But if you have a look, we only have one element right here, which is red. And the reason we can't see any red because they're covered by its two child elements and like i said even though we have a column size of six and a column size of six it doesn't span half of the screen it spans half of its parent and that's technically the same with what this is doing it's just because this doesn't have any other elements above it that are set to an x amount of column space it's actually just spanning the width of the body aka right here or should i should really say the row and the container which is within the body hence why this is working like it is so if i were to put let's say four save it refresh and as you can see there's a bit of red there because we got this element that spans four columns this element spans six columns so four plus ten i mean four plus six is ten a total of 12 columns available 12 minus 10 is 2 and we have 2 left over so you don't have to fill all 12 columns the principle is exactly the same as regular columns so if I were to let's say copy and paste this I'll leave it as the color green and I'll put this I'll leave it as 6 put it as div 3 refresh and it's on a separate line because there were only two columns left, but div three spanned six columns, hence it went on another line. Again, it's the same principle as using columns as we have done before. And finally, I'm just gonna show you that you can actually go even further and just add as many 
nested columns as you want so if I were to just do another div row and inside here I think you guessed it you need to put another div with class call dash excel and for this I'm gonna put dash 3 dash 4 actually copy and paste this I'm actually not gonna put any content inside here I'm just gonna style it with some color so I'm going to put red now I'm gonna put green and blue yeah green and blue go back refresh and, uh, you can see it right at the top actually it's probably best if I do put some content in there I'm going to put one and two because otherwise it's going to be not very tall and it's going to be very hard to see so if I go back refresh so there we go we got one and we have two if we just go back to it do do you might be thinking why this is spanning more than this it's not it's just the background is blue as well so if I actually change that to a red color blue wasn't the best color to choose go back refresh and there we go we've got column we got a column or, or an element which spans six columns within that we have another column which spans I believe it was four spans four columns then within that we got two more elements that span four columns each and there are four columns left over so there you go that's how to nest columns within each other if I were to start resizing this the reason the nesting isn't working anymore is simply because we only applied it to the extra large screen size principle is the same like I've said as columns so if you want nesting to be done on the smaller screen sizes you just have to apply the appropriate column screen size and the column number of columns that you want it to span and also you can use column offsetting as well so this is it for nesting columns if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash question.php there'll be a link in the description to that plus there'll be another link to the source code from this video please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free and it also helps us provide more content on a regular basis and as usual, thank you for watching.